Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party the Top 100. Uh, we got this weird world here. I guess World 2 is the top area and World 3 is the bottom? I'm not quite sure. But uh, we're going to win Catch You Letter from Mario Party 6. Another mini game I wouldn't put in my top uh, top 10 for Mario Party 6. Um, but I, I guess that's just that's just my opinion. Um, I'm trying to remember how many Mario Party 6 mini games they put in. I feel like they didn't get like all 10. I mean, like, I, again, there there isn't, like, a set rule for this, but it just happens to... Oh, wait, oh, he got me. Okay. It, it just happens to be, like, uh, you know, unevenly distributed. But 6 has, like, a lot of minigames I really like. I guess it, it might not be, like, my favorite collection of minigames in the series, but... Um, Catch You Letter is not in my top area. It is a different type of minigame just because... I don't think there's been anything like it because of the, the I guess you're, you're, you're picking up items and then you're chasing after something that's moving around, which I don't recall any other times they've done it. They probably have, but who knows uh, what's next. Coney Island from Mario Party 5. This is one that I, I don't, I think it's like kind of average, but I guess because of the aesthetics, a lot of people like it, but they've done it a few times. Actually, maybe just 5 and 7 have done it. But it's just like, st um, oh, and Super Mario Party, now that I'm remembering that. Like, I can't push Luigi. Like, sometimes the physics are, like, accurate, and then the other times they're different. Like, you can't push each other in this one, but, like, other minigames, you can, like, easily push each other. But what's neat about this one is that the taller that your ice cream cone gets, the less time you have to react to the shadows. And you also get slower, because the ice cream gets heavier. So it is, like, fundamentally a neat minigame. Oh, no cool animation. I think in Mario Party 5, like, the victory animation, like, your cone shrinks while you do your victory dance. But I guess we're doing our victory dance on a separate screen. So, boo to that. Because I forgot in Mario Party 9, they do the victory dance on its own screen. And another minigame, I don't even think I'd put this... This might be, like, the bottom half for Mario Party 3 for me. Because it's just a memory react game. So, like, Toad's on the left, Koopa's on the middle, Goomba's on the right, but we just gotta guess what door they're all in. So, Goomba and Toad are in Y, Koopa's in A, and looks like... Oh, okay, so Toad, Koopa, Goomba. Boom, there you go. And that's a battle mini game, so... I mean, it can be, like, pretty intense being like, Oh, fuck you, you hit it just, like, a millisecond before me, or... God damn it, I hit Y. Um, but I like the minigame, uh, how it's named Three Door Monty, which, uh, references the, I, I don't know if the actual, like, situation is called the Three Door Monty, but, like, um, Monty Hall, I think that's his name? I really don't remember, but from, like, uh, the original Let's Make a Deal, where the contestant has three doors to pick from, two of them have zonks or whatever, and then one of them has, let's say, a million dollars, and so you pick one... And then Monty's like, here, how about we show you one of the doors? And, like, he'll show you one of the zonks every single time. And I guess the rule is that you should switch the door you had picked um, originally. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now, you switch the door because um, when you started, you had a 1 in 3 chance. But, oh, my God. What? This, this round is so intense. <laughs> okay. No, so, like, um, originally you had a 1 in 3 chance of getting the correct door. But then once one of them is revealed, you have a 1 in 2 chance, and I guess you're supposed to change because it's a 1 in 2 now, it's a 1 in 3. I, it doesn't make sense, but it totally makes sense, but at the same time it's like, it's still the same odds, so who fucking cares? Uh, that last minigame was Speed Hockey. I mean, I talked about it in Mario Party 2, but it is one of the best 2 versus 2 mini games ever. I think they did a good job, like, um, picking some of the two versus two mini games for this collection, because overall, there's there's not a lot of two versus two games I like. But if you had to pick any to be in like a collection of top 100, because if I made a top 100 mini games thing, there, it would probably be like stacked with like mostly um, like the four player free for all mini games. But um, yeah, I mean like. Um, Speed Hockey would be in there. Um, I think Reversible might actually be in there. I really like this one from Mario Party 4. Um, 
We haven't gone to it yet, but Eats a Pizza. That's another great two versus two mini game. So yeah, I mean, they, they got some good games, but then there's like a lot of questionable picks. But don't worry about it. I also noticed that some of the mini games have locks on them, on the, like when we go up to them. I guess on the bottom screen they have the locks too. That just means like they're on, like, um, they're locked when you first start the game, and then once you play it, then it's unlocked. Um, here's like another popular two versus too many games. Oh, I didn't look. Oh well. Um, like a lot of people like this one. I couldn't care less about it. Oh, all right. Hey, good thing uh, Rosalina looked at those fries. She said those are some good ass fries. And I was gonna go in the opposite direction. So I'm not looking again. Oops. Oh man, the stack up on the fries. Okay, Rosalina's got that one. Hey, for the save. Alright, sorry if you're hearing like the vents in the background um, as I'm recording this. I mean, it is kind of cold. My parents like to keep the house warm when I'm not at school. Um, I'm still just like not looking at these, but the computers are so easy, it doesn't even matter. Like, look at how good we're doing. We're doing so good. Uh, they're just choking, and I'm not even paying attention. I'm, I'm just dead weight, but I'm opening things as fast as I can. Just like right now as I'm recording this, because um, I'm just getting a bunch of videos out, or I'm just recording a bunch as I can um, before I have to go back to school. Um, we have Snowmageddon 2019, which is just like a blizzard that's happening. Um, and like they say hey, it could be between like 8 and 18 inches of snow or something. And it started snowing, I'm going to say, like, 13 hours ago, and there's not even an inch yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. But this one's called Don't Look. You just look in the opposite directions of the arrows on screen. Well, not, like, opposite, just don't look in that direction, because there's going to be three arrows that show up eventually, and you just have to look in the one direction that they're not pointing. But what if you don't pick a direction? That's always a choice, too, shouldn't it? Alright. I mean, let's see if we get a perfect score. This minigame is okay. It's just, like, time-consuming. Because there's ten rounds, and it's just like, eh, whatever. Huh. There's, like, no music either. This is very, uh, monotone. Oh, now it's fast. Alright, I think I sealed the deal there. Uh, fuck, there we go. Up, baby. But what makes it more intense is that they put the arrows in different directions on the screen. So even though there's no arrows on the top area, that doesn't mean that that's going to be the direction you should face or face opposite of. But that was an easy one. Wow. I didn't even have to use brain cells for that one. Perfect! Oh my god, what do I get? Yeah, hopefully that's one of the last Mario Party 9 minigames. I'm not saying, like, it's yeah, so Mario Party 9, I, I talk about it a bit, I think, but it's just, like, highly regarded as, like, one of the worst Mario Parties. Like, the boards suck, the rules suck. I think it has really weak minigames. Next up is Shell Shocked. Um, hopefully it's not going to be as intense as the final boss battle in... Um, I should probably keep my eye on Daisy. Ooh, okay. How do, I, how do I strafe? R, okay. There we go. Okay, Peach has been dispatched. Oh, that's Mario? Okay, I, I don't know who I thought that was. Oh. Fuck. <gasps> Daisy. Alright. <laughs> Why did he run into that? I think the only way to win if you're two people left is to be like right up in each other's faces, but but Mario has just run into that. I then um I was editing the last few episodes or like the first session. And there's like some points where like there's just, like noise like other than the vents going on, there's just like weird scraping noises, and I think so I have a microphone attached to my iPod to record because I didn't mention this, but 
Um, I mean, if you saw the Luigi's Mansion Let's Play... Oh, shoot. If you saw the Luigi's Mansion Let's Play, um, there was a lot of times where Audacity crashed on me, and that just really upset me. Um, so I've been trying to figure out new ways where I can record audio without having crashes. And so I'm using my iPod Touch, and then I bought a special like cable that hooks up to the light. It's lightning to USB, and then there's also like another lightning cable in there, but it actually doesn't drain battery as much as I thought it would. Um, so then I have my microphone attached to my iPod, and then I have some free random voice recording software installed. And it's getting the job done. Um, the sound quality is a bit worse, but I'll take a bit worse and no crashes like any time now. Um, and then, um, what's, what's the spin attack? B? No, and then, um, so that that's happening. And then I guess there were some random times where later, oh wait, I guess I didn't see the depth perception on that. But, um, yeah, there's times where like you just hear a weird noise. And I think, I don't know if the iPod is still recording sound like while the thing is plugged in. Because it's like super loud and um, I guess the cable, I mean it's pretty close to the microphone. I mean it's like a foot and a half away, but I think um, one of the cords for the 3DS capture card, because I have the charger in and then I have like my USB mini or micro or whatever cable plugged in. And sometimes that's scraping against my laptop because of the way I have it set up. So maybe it is catching that, like let's just test it, like... Like, if you're hearing that, that's that's what the cable sounds like, so I guess we'll know. I'll know as I edit if that is actually what's happening. But this minigame here is Bounce and Trounce. Oh, I'm jumping a lot higher than I thought I could. But, um, it's another, like, decent one from Mario Party 3. I, I definitely recall playing this one a lot more with my cousin, but I don't know if I'd say it's one of my favorites. Oh, shoot. Did I get him? Yay! But, yeah, I don't know if I'd pick this one for Mario Party 3, just because, like I've been saying, 3 has a lot of great minigames. Um, yeah, but I mean, it is like a unique style of like Last Man Standing, because that is, again, a popular type of minigame style, archetype of minigame. Oh, we got time for one, maybe two more. Crate and Peril. Ooh, a motion-based one. Okay. So, I'm going to be using the motion controls. Um, this is like Mario Party 6, so it originally just used the joystick. So, I think it's neat that they picked this one just to have like a motion-based minigame. But it's definitely not one of like my favorites from Mario Party 6. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise, the goal is to like split up the shells and then like trap them in a corner. Like what I just did with Wario. Uh, could I have avoided it? Maybe. Who knows? Um, I could have screwed up too. That's always an option. But we still got time for one more, so let's do the one on the right. Unless it's going to be like a long one. I know there's a luck-based one somewhere in here. Okay, Salon Trust, pretty quick. And I can see now that the computer difficulty has raised up to normal now. So, yeah, we got to get the buzzy... Or actually, no, it was just the template. So, Yoshi Egg and Buzzy Beetle. Easy peasy. See, these computers are still so easy. Or I'm just like God tier. I don't remember where the boo is, but we got it. We got it. I was saying that they don't have like a lot, or they, they picked like a lot of the good um, two versus too many games. This one is one of the like mediocre ones. I guess, I guess it's one of my favorite two versus two mini games from Mario Party 6, but. I feel like 6 didn't have like a lot of great 2 vs. 2 minigames. Like they had a jump rope one that I liked. Or I, I guess it wasn't like jump rope, it was just like jump over like a spinning obstacle. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Mario Party Top 100 Minigame Island. I hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like as well. The channel grows. Subscribe to get updates on my uploads as soon as they happen. But until then, I will see you all next time.